Hey guys, so I've I've gotten several comments um, over the last few months, and I've been seeing it sort of like in my periphery. This concept of the purge that happens, I guess, when you change your mind or you, you get, you know, you start to get into the state of what you want, then all of a sudden things that you don't like start happening or like, and, and I guess people have referred to this as the purge. I don't really get that. Um, a purge to me would be getting rid of all kinds of things, uh, getting rid of all kinds of negative thoughts or beliefs or whatever. And I don't really see how those things are correlated because if you just have some negative belief, you're trying to change it. Um, I, I don't see any reason why then that would manifest in your reality. What I think is more likely is that your beliefs that you've had all along that you're trying to change now have been planting seeds here and there, starting processes in motion that uh, are just now coming to fruition. I've talked about this uh, in other places on this channel, especially with me with money. I really saw this over time as, uh, as my money situation improved and improved and improved. There would still occasionally be something that would happen that was reminiscent of the past uh, and and it would, you know, it was kind of like an opportunity to slip back into an old mentality or recognize it for what it was, an old seed sprouting and just move on. And those can be really hard to deal with. And if they happen, if the timing of those uh, happens when you're just first changing your mind or trying to shift into a different mindset, I could see how that'd be very disconcerting because by the time like these, you know, like uh, there were some issues when my ex and I got our first mortgage, something happened during that, that just needed to be dealt with, but it didn't go perfectly and it was related to the past. And, um, you know, that was kind of, that kind of like, it was a really upsetting day, the day that happened. And I was really afraid, like, you know, I was just like, Oh God, now we're not going to get our mortgage. We're going to have to keep renting. You know, this is just something dragging me back. You know, I'm not, whatever. I had my whole reaction to it, but then just persisted and moved forward with, you know, that's dumb. This is just, a remnant of the past coming coming up in my current reality. But if you're the type of person that's kind of been doing everything unconsciously up to this point, I, you know, I'm not really sure. I don't know the backstory of the people that are talking about, you know, leaving these comments or talking about purging things, things seeming to rapidly show up as soon as they change their mind. Um, I don't know if these are experienced manifestors. I'm guessing they're not. I'm guessing that this is kind of a new thing. Um, and it would make a lot of sense that your whole life that you've set into motion up until this point is not going to cease this second. Um, so, you know, however you've been reacting to your surroundings, the decisions that you've been making in your life, the ways that you've been reacting to people, the people you've been choosing to have in your life, um, you know, all of your decisions, it's not like those things that have been set into motion just come, you know, come grinding to a halt the second you change your mind. And this is, this is why persisting is, it, it's not important, it's vital. It's without it, you won't get anywhere. If you don't persist through those things and ignore those things happening and recognize them for what they are, which is just, you know, things showing up from the past, even if they seem random, um, if you don't recognize them as just, you know, the, the, the fruits on the tree that you planted a long time ago still coming, you know, eventually those things will stop happening. Eventually you will see your 3D reflecting your beliefs and it takes some time. I mean, I, this idea uh, in this community that I see thrown around a lot, like you have control over the timing of everything uh, that, you know, that this is all not real to the point that you can just stop and rearrange everything and undo the past. I don't think most people are experiencing that this way. Maybe the people that are saying that are some sort of, um, you know, advanced wizards and they just don't realize how this works for everybody else. I don't know. Um, I have never experienced just stopping time and, and undoing things from the past instantly so that I didn't still, you know, have to allow them to play out the way that they normally would and all of that stuff. Um, so I don't see the purge as being anything other than a matter of your perception. You know, you're looking at things, things are coming up. You probably had the idea that those things were gonna stop the second that you moved into a different state of mind. And in my experience, and apparently yours, that's not what happened. Things continued to play out. And that's, uh, to me, comforting. Because that, to me, is evidence that the world is, res is responding to you. It's reflecting you. It's 
you know, the seeds that you plant will eventually sprout, even if you've changed your mind. So to me, that's comforting because if that means that if you can continue to just plant better and better seeds, you'll continue to reap what you've sown, right? You'll eventually get to the point where, uh, you know, everything in your life is pretty good. And the things that happen that happen to all of us, like losing people or, you know, health issues, things that, that, you know, we don't really know where exactly they come from. If, if they're being created by us on some level, we don't know exactly where those are coming from. Uh, those things can be dealt with in a more positive way when they happen. Um, and you have like a, a good solid foundation of beneficial beliefs to support you when you run into these things inevitably that keep coming up. You know, this idea that like manifesting means you never experience anything, you never experience anything bad again, I think is, I think it's wishful thinking. Um, but that's just me. That's just my opinion. Um, so I don't think the purge is real. Um, I think the purge is just a matter of perceiving the things that you have planted in the, pa in the past coming to fruition uh, as something that shouldn't happen after you have changed your mind, when that's simply not the way it works, in my experience, in my understanding. You change your mind, it starts you down a new path. Um, it, it, there's a time delay before that will be fully reflected in your reality. And in the meantime, you have to just persist through these things that show up that seem negative. Um, and often things that seem negative turn out to not have been the way you were perceiving them. So yeah, this is really all a matter of perception, the whole thing. So um, that's my answer to that question. And I hope it helps somebody. Have a great day.